After spending just over 25 days in space and orbiting the moon, NASA's Artemis 1 moonship has finally landed in the Pacific Ocean. Descending under three huge parachutes, the unpiloted 9-ton Orion spacecraft gently hit the water of Baja California to conclude a test flight that should clear the way for astronauts on the next lunar flyby. This is what mission success looks like, folks. This was a challenging mission, and this uh, is, is what mission success looks like. So now we are going to go and finish outfitting it uh, so that we can put humans on board on Artemis II. And that's uh, for us a big, big deal because we'll put our astronauts on board. And so uh, we're very much looking forward to that. Since Artemis I mission was a success, engineers will spend months examining data to launch a crewed Artemis II flight around the moon and back, which could come as early as 2024, followed within a few more years by the program's first lunar landing of astronauts, one of them a woman with Artemis III. The plan is to get ready to go with humans to Mars late in the decade of the 2030s, and then even further beyond. And we know from what we are finding from the James Webb Space Telescope that it is a very, very large universe out there to be understood and explored. Although the capsule encountered some unexpected communication blackouts and an electrical issue during its voyage around the moon, NASA has given high marks to its performance, boasting that it exceeded the space agency's expectations.